Okay, so this video is about project folders and how to set those up. Um, normally, a, a person would just create a folder, save their project into that folder, and you might you might put your images in, uh, you know, reference images and all that kind of stuff that's related to that project within that folder. Um, and then when you start to use those textures and those those uh, photos in your project, uh, they're given a, a hard path. Like so, if you started on the desktop, it would it would be a hard coded um, path right from the desktop. Um, so, what a project file does for you is to give you um, relative file control, so that once you set everything up within a folder, you could then move that folder, open the project from whatever location you move the folder to and you won't have any texture problems whatsoever everything will just start to everything will just show up um, and you won't have any issues in the future so first steps to doing that would be to go to customize and preferences and then we go under the files tab here and you want to convert local file paths to relative the second option here that's the first step then you'll go here to file we'll go to project and create default uh, create default means you're gonna get a set of default folders we'll do it here in the uh, folder setup already test it sets up a entire list of folders um, wherein all of your your scenes will be saved automatically in the scenes folder uh, if you have any crashes, auto backs will be auto backups will be saved in the auto backup folder. Oops. Um, you could use this for any kind of downloads. You have materials, uh, material libraries. As long as you're saving every, everything that you want to use for your project within this file structure, then you can do that. But maybe you don't like this file structure. You can get the same result by going to project and create an empty so you're gonna get all the same benefits as before only you'll have the power to set up a folder structure that you'd like so it, it contains the one file here that makes sure that all your uh, file paths will remain relative so you'll find that if I, I was to then move this um, folder to a different location and open it from that location anything that I've saved within this folder will work like a charm. So that's a handy tip.